Welcome back to Papa Prepper. The woman was 35-year-old Ashley Babbitt, a California native and Air Force veteran. Her former husband told the Washington Post before her death in the Capitol. She had used her social media to express fervent support for President Trump and echo many of the president's conspiracy theories and false claims of mass voter fraud. Ms. Ashley Babbitt, thank you for your service. In my opinion, you were killed in cold blood. You're definitely in a better place now. Okay, guys. Just wanted to do that. I have a big heart for military veterans. And she deserved it, so... I really don't have nothing for tonight. I mean, there's so much going on. How do you pick and choose? What to... There's so much... I mean... <laughs> have you seen the news today? It's crazy. We're mobs now. Or they were mobs. Not peaceful protesters, but mobs. <laughs> Excuse me. I wonder what the difference is between Patriots and the other two groups. Why were they peaceful protesters burning everything to the ground, desecrating our national monuments, tearing cities apart? That's okay. Patriots, they're the ones. They're the bad people. They're the mobs. Do you see where that... that, that uh, the Trump supporters stormed the Capitol building with weapons in hand. No? But did you see the live footage of the cops opening the gates and letting them in? Tell me they didn't know that was Tifa. This country's in the toilet. I mean, I, I honestly think as... I mean, we're done. I know President Trump was shook when that girl got killed. And you know, that's another thing. His interview, you know, calling for peace, that's enough, go home, that's not what we wanted. We, you know, it wasn't supposed to get violent. But that video's gone. It's been pulled off everything. And now they've done exactly what they want to do. He has no way of reaching out to us. I mean, and I have no doubt by, at least by this weekend, they'll have him impeached. He's done. They're going to pull the 25th. And did you see the pictures? Now, these could have been, you know, legit. I know Pence is taking a lot of heat right now. And he should. He should. Uh, pictures of Pence fist bumping the officers after the coup, or whatever you want to call it, went down. It's almost like, I think I posted it on my Facebook page, um, Being Prepared. That's my Facebook group, if anybody's interested. Um... But yeah, I showed him fist bumping all the officers involved. 
Um, but yeah, the videos, I mean, you can see the cops letting them in. You can see the, the National Guard and the other, you know, the cops, SWAT team, whatever they were inside the building, just casually walking around while they're supposedly storming the building. And they're and they're not they're unsure where the shot came from. Yeah. I mean they know it was from the DC police. But they're unsure. Okay, to my understanding, they shot her through a broken window. There ain't but too many people could shoot through that little bitty area from very far away. So it had to be somebody right on top of her. Let's see what else was there today. I guess there was three more deaths from uh, whatever natural causes, I guess, or um, unforeseen medical conditions or something that I read. Yeah, whatever. Anything else? Take the focus off of them. I really don't know what else to say. What else? Was there anything else that I saw today? I mean, I've seen plenty, but... Oh, the guy in the buffalo skin, the Viking horn-looking guy. I think he was supposed to represent Native Americans. Um, I had to screenshot it, so I really don't have a link for it, but um, on my Facebook page, I posted it. If it's still there, who knows? But that guy was taking a selfie. or Well, actually, it was, it's Nancy Pelosi's son-in-law taking a selfie with the guy. Unless it's incredibly well photoshopped. I mean, go figure, right? But, what can we do? Just one more hit. We gotta take up the rear, right? I don't know. But, there's no doubt in my mind... By this weekend, President Trump will no longer be President Trump. And I do believe Mike Pence will do it. They're not going to have to rely on the senators. Nope, I think Pence will do it. So, I'm sorry. I don't have anything. I have nothing helpful to say. I have, I mean, my mind has went 5,000 miles an hour all day. But what can you do when there's no bright side? I mean, there's not. As far as our lifestyle and, you know, things we've come to know and love about being a free American. And, I mean, it's over. It's over. If you don't mind, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Whatever you're feeling, I get it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Share this if you'd like. Um, down in the description of the page, I've added some links. Um, to some different things if you want to go check them out um, but I guess that's it for tonight I'm just going to do a short one you know everybody's I don't know everybody's just kind of awestruck today so I will try to get my stuff together and do a decent video tomorrow but I basically, you know, just wanted to get your guys' thoughts and comments basically about what's next. You know, you guys can put them in the comments. I love reading your guys' comments. I try to reply to everyone. I mean, I do work all day. I get busy, but I try. Um, I did add um, my email. My designated email just for this YouTube channel is in the descriptions. 
um, if you guys got anything, you know, you want me to, you know, see what I can find out about or anything you guys want me to do a video on, um, just shoot me an email and I will see what I can do. But, uh, until tomorrow night, God bless each and every one of y'all. Stay safe. And I will see you next time. Papa Prepper out.